Hello, welcome to Anselm Griffith's Occasional Series in MATLAB tutorials. Today we're trying to register an image. So we have an image that's an orthophoto, that's you know no perspective distortion, and we have another one that has been taken from a plane or a satellite or whatever it is, and there is projective distortion, and we want to remove that by using the orthophoto, the coordinates on that. So there's a lot of comments here which you needn't type in if you're doing this in class, but lines 15, 16, 17 you know by now, lines 21, 22, 23, 24, 26 is a pause, 28, fifty-seven, sixty, and 63. Okay. So I'm just going to run the program because seeing is believing. So there's the two photos. Scroll down a little bit. So one is the orthophoto. That's the first one. That's the one on the left here is the orthophoto. The one on the right is the one with perspective distortion. We want to remove the perspective distortion. Line 26, a pause. Now just go to the command prompt. Anything to continue. So now just make sure the zoom is the same on both. Uh, we need a minimum of four points. So Uh, ideally, they shouldn't be too near each other. They should be spread out. Uh, there's a nice point. Yeah, I'm just having a little difficulty trying to find an edge. That's one. I think that's one. Now, four is the minimum. The more points you take, the better. I've done five. Hopefully that's okay. That's enough. Do I want to save the control points? Yep. Now, just do a little who's here. There's the... input points that I selected the five points and there's the base point so there's the corresponding five points now for some odd reason on my code it sort of stops on there on 928 uh, I could have fine-tuned them here using um, cross correlation but as I notice here as you can read it won't work if one image is rotated with respect to the other so there is rotation so I can't cross correlate number five is you have to tell MATLAB what sort of transformation to work out the transformation and you there you're telling MATLAB it's a projective transfer I know it's a projective transformation form the transformation using the input points and the base points. MATLAB will do it for you. I have to copy and paste this out here. Now if I leave out the semicolon here, you get that. Where is the where is the uh, matrix that does it all? My transform dot t data. And then my dot t data dot t. So that carries out the the removal of the projective transformation, and the inverse of it is obviously. Now, for the moment, I didn't go through that. It's just we gave the corresponding points. We put the numbers into a black box, and the black box has worked out the um, the matrix to do it all for us. So that's to carry out the actual transformation and we're going to name the resulting image registered and then finally we're going to show it. Uh, 
and that is the projector transformation uh, removed. I can't at the moment, I'd love to be able to um, overlay the two and we just put that one over the correct one to show how closely they match but I just can't do it at the moment. Okay so hope that helps a little. Thanks very much for listening.